Alrighty, today's commander is Cranko Mob Boss. He is a 2 and 2 red, and there's a 3-3. Three, three. And has the ability of tapping and creating X goblin creature tokens, where X is equal to the number of goblins you control. So you're just going to double up the goblins on the battlefield. Pretty commonly used commander for a good reason. Alright, let's get into it. First, we got goblins that are going to buff our other goblins. So first, Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Rundveld Horde Master. Goblin King. Goblin Chieftain. We're also going to run Goblin War Chief, make our goblins cost less. And then we're going to get into some goblins that ping for damage. So, first it's Ib Half Heart. Goblin Arsonist. Brash Taunter. Goblin Fire Slinger and Mog Fanatic. Next, we're going to have a couple goblins that affect the ability for other people to block you. So, first, it's going to be Frenzied Goblin and Goblin Tunneler. These two become important for our next goblin, who is Goblin Lackey. Make this guy unblockable, and then we can punch down a bunch of goblins as well. And then we're going to get into goblins that tutor for other goblins. First, we got classic Goblin Matron, Goblin Recruiter. and Muxus Goblin Grandee. And the rest of these goblins here are going to be ones that make more goblins. So, for instance, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Red Cap Gutter Dweller. Beetleback Chief, Mog War Marshal, Ardoz Cobbler of War, Cranko Tin Street Kingpin, and Legion War Boss. And then we got two extras that are more just filler here, Goblin Glory Chaser and Goblin Picker. Next we're going to be getting into our enchantments. First we have Goblin Ward Rums. This effectively just gives our goblins menace. Next I have a few enchantments in here that allow us to do damage uh, to our opponents, or additional damage. First, Dictate of the Twin Gods. Aggravated Assault. Goblin Bombardment. Enchanter's Bane. Warstorm Surge. Impact Tremors, and Raid Bombardment. And 
Next, it's going to focus on enchantments that have, or rather, give our creatures haste. Rising of the day. Fervor. And Football Crater. Finally, we have Blood Moon. In the case of Goblin King, that gives other goblins Mountain Walk, making them unblockable. Goblin Slide, making some extra goblins. And Quest for the Goblin Lord, buffing other goblins. Now we're going to get into our instants and sorceries. The first of which is Expedite. Get some card draw and give a creature haste for low cost. Chandra's Outrage, help us ping for some damage. I'm sure I can find a good replacement for this one that perhaps has lower mana cost. Please let me know. And Friendly Fire. Uh, again, just an instant to help with dealing damage, perhaps get some uh, spite out of the way when someone does something I don't like. I'm sure I can find a replacement for that as well. Please let me know. Moving on to sorceries, we have Goblin Grenade. Disrupt Decorum. Migmatic Chasm. Helping us with uh, minimizing blockers. And then I have two that will help us with extra uh, combat phases. First being Relentless Assault. And the second being Fury of the Horde. Have an additional tutor of Gamble. And then the final sorceries of just creating more goblin tokens. Um, Dragon Fodder. Goblin Rally. Cranko's Command. And Empty the Warrens. Next we're going to go get into our artifacts, and first we'll discuss the artifacts or mana rocks. Of course we'll have Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, a Fire Diamond, a Glittering Stockpile, a Cursed Mirror, Hazaret's Monument and Ruby Medallion. Next we have Equipments, Strider Harness, Buffing and Haste, Shield of the Avatar, Protection, Swift Foot Boots, Protection and Haste, and the Ring of Valkus, Buffing and Haste. And finally, we have Cranial Archive for when we inevitably get board wiped and we want our cards back, we just put them right back into our library. Finally, we have our lands. We're only going to be running 35 lands in this deck, 31 of which will be mountains. The rest, since it is a tribal deck, will have a path of ancestry, help us filter through our deck. We will have a blighted gorge, Valakut the Molten 
pinnacle. Hopefully do some ping damage for later in the game. And a den of the bugbear. The big play in this deck, of course, relies off our tutors and getting a bunch of cards out at one time and creating a bunch of goblins. So first, you're going to play Goblin Matron, and that will allow you to tutor for Goblin Recruiter, if you don't already have it out. And Goblin Recruiter will allow you to put all goblins that you want on top of your library, in any order that you choose. Um, which does have to be revealed to your opponents. But if you're going to do that, you're going to want to put the first card, if you don't already have it in your hand, as Muxus Goblin Grandee. So then you can draw it, play it immediately if you have the mana, and then bomb your opponents with the ideal selection being goblins like Brentveld Horde Master, Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, Goblin King. Goblin War Chief and Goblin Chieftain. Cards that buff your goblins and make them cost less and or have haste. So these are probably your top five go-tos. But Muxus allows you to get for six, so your runner-up will be Brash Taunter for free, because quite expensive. Beetleback Chief get those extra tokens in there and then crank out Tin Street Kingpin again producing more of those tokens and ideally you'll have Cranko already out on the battlefield and what you can then do is simply tap all those goblins they all have mountain walk if you have goblin kenning out and then you can swing unblockable with a bunch of 4-4, four, 5-5 four, five, five goblin creature tokens at all your opponents simultaneously if you so choose and hopefully you'll have 10 plus, 15 plus goblin tokens out at this point in the game. <laughs>